Hey guys, and I'm back from the tutorial, and this tutorial is essentially how to craft, or manufacture, as this game calls it. Uh, you need factory units, and the thing is, it's a little bit confusing, and it, I can understand why it would put people off. It's kind of like Minecraft in a sense, you need to learn the recipes, although the recipes are much more complex. Or at least I'm never going to remember any of these damn things. I've actually made a spreadsheet um, because I'm not going to remember that I need uh, one SD2000 data interface and one SD1000 capacitor to make one power generator. I'm not going to remember that. <laughs> it's not like put six wooden planks in a pattern to make a door. You know, it's uh, a little bit more complex. Anyway, you can't just buy uh, factory units. Well, you can buy most of them. But you can't buy ones that actually craft the ship items. Um, so, I think this tutorial I'm going to look at the Skimmerdine 1000 and the Skimmerdine 2000. But I'm going to show you how to craft them. Uh, first of all, you need an advanced Skimmerdine. And this will allow you to craft them. Now, there is a bit of a shopping list, and I'll go through that now. You need, so there is some more, but you need, for this I recommend you get four Bobby AI units. You get two factory inputs, four particle pre um, presses, and two, uh, what are they called? Mineral separators. Okay. Now once you've got that, you now need three different types of ore. Not much, only ten of each L. Uh, ten of each L1 type, so one L, whatever it's called. And it isn't, yeah, you just need ten L1s. So you need um, Negagate, you need 20 ins Insomnia, I don't think that's right. I've probably got some in my inventory. Oh, Insanium. And you need 10 Quantigen. Now, you can get that through shops, or you could go mining. Uh, I actually went mining originally. And, you know, mining is definitely one way to get a hold of the stuff. Now, it needs a particle press. Okay, keep on connecting this up. The manufacturing part, the bit that actually makes the ship parts, needs to be connected with the particle press not the other way around uh, which I initially thought and proceeded to screw up you need a mineral separator again connected the, you need the yeah connected like that basically just copy with this and you know, so select and then connect and that's it. You then shove the ores. Okay, so yeah, in here you would have the ore and the AI units. And you put all four in there, along with the Nagagate, the Insanium, the Quantigen. And that's it. You then let that process. And then you come over to here. And in here, there you will find. Uh, well, you find well what you would normally find would be this, uh, the scum and ah, sorry, the scum and dine two thousand and the scum and dine one thousand. The materials I've suggested that you put in will make two of each, uh, which makes sense to me anyway, because of the way it works. Um, now I'm going to skip over to one I built earlier. Now, as you can see, we have the 1000 and the 2000. Now the reason I suggest that you have two particle presses is because the mineral separator will process 10 at a time. Um, an L2 ore will give you 10 L1 ores and those will then be split because each of these use five at a time. So each of those use five L1 ores. So for maximum production speed you have two and you have two of these, um, uh, well, these ones are over 1,000 Skyrim Dime units. 
these are this is a two thousand variety. Now there is different. There is the three thousand variety, the ten thousand, the twenty thousand, and the thirty thousand. And they all produce different ship parts. So I mean, this is just a basic one. The one thousand version will give you access to production of antimatter cannon. Uh, shields and thrusters so that's a pretty nice one to have set up and of course the 2000 version gives you access to the power generators and a few other things like um, docking units, missile arrays, actually all the missile arrays can be built in the 2000 version and you know again it, it's worthwhile definitely definitely worth doing so this is the 2000 version and what I'm going to do here, hmm, let's see, what do I actually have? Um, I think I can make docking units. So, I mean, it's nice and simple. So, if I go, I just drop those in there, like so, they'll start getting processed. The items will move through to the mineral um, separator, and the L2s will be broken down to L1s. Um, we already see that process in action. There we go. Yeah. And that leaves, and then they go on to these. And they become components. Now, the final. Well, once the components are the usable components, because each ore is a separate component, and it requires a couple of components to make, you know, sometimes requires more than a couple, to make an item. So, what we have here is a case that certain ores can be used in certain process trees, and otherwise you'll get what what's happened here, where I've put the wrong ore in, and now I have these clusters, which I'm not sure what I can do with them. They're presumably they're going to be for the 3000 uh, unit, um, but again, I'm just going to have to wait and see. So, I mean, not all war can be used. What I would absolutely love was if there's some sort of signpost system. Nothing nothing complex, just a simple signpost where I can just look at it and go, only to use this ore. And as you can see here, uh, we're making turret docking units. Okay, wasn't quite expecting that. I thought they were going to be normal docking. Oh wait, no, they've got slightly different names, haven't they? Oh well. Just goes to show. I don't know what these are called then. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Sorry, docking units are still useful. And I will have to update my spreadsheet actually to make sure I make that as clear as possible. So, you know, that's, that's a crafting system. It's really easy to use. You can't put this on spaceships though. They have to be put on planets, or on asteroids, or on space stations. You know, you, you can't do it on a ship, which I kind of see why they've done that, because it means you actually have to make a home base somewhere to bring back supplies. But at the same time, it's a little bit frustrating, which does make it a bit harder to... Because um, space stations use a huge amount of resources. This is what well, I'm going to presume at some point will be sort of late game or maybe mid game sort of level. But I mean, okay. The, it's quite nice actually mining for materials and actually making stuff. Um, finding some of the ores are a little bit difficult. Uh, one thing I find is some of the ores are very similarly named to a point where I just get actually a pet peeve now. Um, because I've I've managed to slip up a couple of times on the names, thinking I've got enough materials when actually I have got entirely the wrong ore. Uh, because for example, there is quantiside, quantigen, and quantinum. You know, because why not? Why not name three of your different ores? And it's a little bit frust, a little bit frustrating, a little bit. That said. Um, I'm going to presume this is going to be a much bigger part of the game eventually, and presumably 
sooner rather than later. Hopefully after um, Pirate Jobs gets rebalanced. Uh, maybe, well yeah, because that would help reduce the amount of credits you get. Or maybe the L5 ores being reduced down to um, 100,000 for each rather than a million. Because, I mean, you can, I've had Pirate Jobs drop like 800 or to a thousand L5 ores and you know you're just there like okay that's worth millions and you know it's just kills any challenge and the shop the shops have a lot of ship parts as well so it's kind of like if you've got the money then you won't have to go through this process but I don't know a group a group of people working together producing large-scale ships which required awful lot of supplies this I mean this is particularly useful for shields and engines and um, energy generators because you use so many building these ships being able to just to sit down and make a ton of them is a really handy thing to do and so hopefully when the game gets rebalanced this will become more important uh, but as it stands it's kind of something you don't have to do I, I recommend you at least learn how to do it and I hope this video tutorial has actually helped I, I will include the spreadsheet I've made and I will update it eventually I've only used the um, Skimmerdyne 2000 and 1000 variety so I've only got those recipes listed on there um, but yeah no it's it's a fun game oh, I'm enjoying it and man, if the crafting system you know, it makes sense. You just have to remember the one really key rule is because I I managed to completely screw this up first time because I connected that with that because um, I set that as the command block. Well, that was bounded as the, you know that became a command block for that, which meant that items were being sent to the command block rather than the other way around. So I was just there putting stuff in my input going, why is nothing coming out of my input uh, when all this is set up properly? And yeah, it was me being an idiot. Well, so you always need to make sure you, you connect, you connect it backwards really. Um, you connect up computers to, actually it does make sense that way. But, you know, just make sure you don't make that mistake. And I would love a signpost system, just to say that this is a one thousand variety and this is a two thousand variety. Because I mean, you're not really going to. I mean, okay, they're different colours, but still, it's easy enough to forget. I mean, I forgot. I was putting in, um, I was making thrusters, and I was getting confused why all the components were ending up here and they weren't making thrusters. Yeah. Uh, the thrust is off of the one thirds one thousand variety and that's for two thousand variety. Whoops. But you know it's a learning curve, like for most of the game. So I'm I'm enjoying it and I think there's a lot of potential, particularly if if the game is rebalanced and Yeah, so that's how you make so that, that's basically how you start manufacturing goods and I, I really do hope this helps some of you and I know this system looks off-putting particularly as it's really not user-friendly at the moment and I mean to a point where I'm looking online and like for wiki pages for forum posts on manufacturing are a confusing mess and they're just <sighs> Well, I'm there desperately going, so what do I need for thrusters? What do I need for shields? Oh, I need that component. And what, how do I make that component? Oh, I need that ore. So, yeah, I've got a spreadsheet set up, and I will keep adding to it over time, but I'll attach it in the description. I also do a, I do a little written walkthrough on this stage, because I need to make sure, you need to make sure you get this bit right, so you get your, um, you can start manufacturing um, ship components. And you know, once that's once all this is done and you've got this set up, then you can go off mining or you can buy ore from the shops. I recommend mining. Um, if you're unlucky like me and you in what 
five sectors in each direction. There seems to be the same damn ores. Um, hopefully, you have better luck than that. I did end up buying um, some of this ore for demonstration purposes <laughs> because I just couldn't find any of the damn stuff. So, yeah, you know, it's simple enough. You just have to wrap your head around it. So, yeah, give it a try and hopefully some of this will be able to. I don't know, I'm kind of hoping you'll be able to make more. There might be ways to do it, I don't know actually. I want to make some sort of giant fully automated factory system where you just have everything sort of connected up together. But I don't think there's any way to distinguish which should go to which sort of pipeline. Because not all ores are used in each stage. Uh, I mean, each ore makes a different component, so unless it's used in the recipe for one of these, like the 2000 version, then it's all just going to end up sat in. Well, it has actually got. See, I, I have made that mistake a few times. So, you yeah, know, give it a go. Um, if you have any questions, you know, leave a comment. I'll try and help the best I can. Um, I think this should be pretty clear. Uh, I mean, there's a little bit of what the hell's the point at the moment. <laughs> but, you know, hopefully as the game develops and gets rebalanced, you know, this should become quite a key part to the game. Thanks for watching, guys. And hit like, uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos, and I will probably be doing another tutorial shortly. Because, um, I mean, as I said, this game has one hell of a learning curve on some things.